seems that Prigozhin is seriously planning to settle in Belarus, not alone, but with his gang of former rebels, murderers and murderers. Against this backdrop, discussions about an invasion from Belarus have resumed, which are being disseminated by various sources. I'm Maria Druska, and that's what we will talk about in today's vlog. So guys, have you missed the news from Belarus? Haven't heard anything for a while about a possible offensive from the north. Various experts have already expressed their opinion and made a lot of hypotheses about how a potential offensive might occur. But first, some news about Evgeny Prigozhin, who in his inimitable style has once again recorded several messages that have been disseminated through media under his control. And I must admit, on the one hand, it was very interesting, but also very funny. For example, Prigozhin claimed that his mercenaries had stopped 200 kilometers from Moscow, but he did not consider the possibility of overthrowing the current government at all. If so, why arrange such a demarche? A logical question, isn't it? Well, Prigozhin himself explained. He didn't like that the Ministry of Defense forced them to sign contracts. Can you imagine starting a riot simply because they tried to legalize them? Uh, no, Prigozhin himself said that idiots from the general headquarters would simply destroy the most combat-ready unit in Russia. And this forced him to take drastic measures. Interestingly, the mercenary vanguard led by Dmitry Utkin, a co-founder of Wagner, a Nazi and former guru officer. This man definitely has no sentimentality towards the current government. About all, Prigozhin's statement seems like an attempt to pretend that nothing catastrophic happened and that the shot down planes and helicopters were just tragic accidents. Try to get your head around this. A private military company, which is illegal in Russia according to Russian law, armed with heavy armored vehicles, an air defense system did not reach two kilom 200 kilometers from Moscow, having destroyed a lot of aircraft and a known number of Russian military personnel. And all this just happened. It seems to me that it's time to make a video about how Russia will disintegrate. Because it will happen and I already made this video. So please write in the comments if you're interested in such a topics. Prigozhin's next statement is even more interesting. He literally stated that if the Russian troops were as well prepared as the PMC Wagner, they could have marched from Donbass to Uzhgorod, the west westernmost regional center in Ukraine, in one day. It seems that Prigozhin's ambitions are the same as those of Russian generals and against the backdrop of him moving with a bunch of his people to Belarus, it might look quite interesting. And now we will talk about a possible offensive from Belarus. But before I continue, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And remember, if you enjoy these videos, consider supporting this channel on Patreon or buy me a coffee, as this is what allows us to continue making these videos. Now, about the offensive from Belarus. There are two main nuances and a lot of secondary ones. The first thing is that what will Russian soldiers shoot with? I must remind you that the ammunition shortage for the Russians is not a myth, but a reality. Add to this the wear and tear of the barrels of artillery systems and the lack of armored vehicles, at least for opening the northern front. 
you're probably going to say there is a Belarusian army. Yes, there is. But the ammunition warehouses have been exported through Russia in different directions for a long time. And the number and quality of Belarusian, Belarusian equipment is not very high. Moreover, Lukashenko will strongly resist his army participating in this war in any way. The second important thing is that all this time in the north various types of work were carried out to reinforce the france in all possible ways of course i don't know the details but the amount of forces and resources that the russians currently have in the north is clearly not enough to organize an offensive of course the arrival of wagner may change the situation a bit but there definitely won't be an offensive like in february 2022 i'm actually very much looking forward to general budano's new comment or interview because he gets pretty annoyed with these questions about belarus and the offensive from there because everyone has been asking this all the time at early stage of the war as well and it's interesting what he will answer now see you in my next videos Slava Ukraine.